Okay, what's up traders? So hope you're having a good weekend. Okay, um, it's actually quite late over at our place. It's like uh, 12 midnight, but um, just wanted to record this video just for you so that uh, you'll be able to better plan for your trades because uh, we kind of predict that next week is going to be a hard uh, week to trade. So um, this video is for you. Okay, so uh, let us just look at the uh, Forex calendar. Okay, so now we're at Forex Factory. You can see over here that um, next week uh, we have uh, ECB, right? Uh, monetary, monetary policy statement as well as the ECB press conference, okay? So with that being said, right, we expect that uh, from Monday to Thursday, um, price will be rather constipated. Okay, we don't expect price to move much and it will be very hard to trade, okay? After Thursday, we have um, probably one good day of trading, which would be Friday, okay? So if you're going to trade, uh, be patient. Okay, um, don't expect price to move like trend like um, the previous week. Okay, you just, just be more patient with your trades and um, we probably will send less trades because of this. Okay, so now let's just, just go into the charts. Okay, so this is um, DXY. Okay, uh, in the previous analysis or rather previous week, we said that, um, you know, price is going to break the violate the swing high here, stop people out and uh, sell down. And that's exactly uh, what it has done. Okay, very, uh, you know, we were spot on in our analysis. So uh, now the question is, uh, what should, what, what, what sh what's up with um, DXY right now? Okay, so let me just move this up. Okay, what is up with DXY right now? So um, actually we are seeing that um, there's some support here. Okay, this zone is a very strong level. Okay, uh, we haven't actually came out a lesson about uh, supply and demand, but we also look at supply and demand. Okay, how do we look at supply and demand? Um, we look at the departure of the level. Okay, so if you look at this uh, zone over here, it kind of like um, this pattern, it's like a piercing pattern. We call this a rally base and a rally in uh, supply and demand, um, if you are trading supply and demand. Okay, uh, we haven't really provided much details about this, but uh, just give us some time. We'll create more content. We maybe even write an article about uh, how to uh, identify support, uh, supply and demand. But for now, just take it from us that this is a very strong zone. Okay, reason for it is look at the departure of this zone. Okay, you see one, you know, one very big bullish candle here, two, three, and four. Okay, four bullish candles of this level. Okay, so that means that this is a very important. Um, demand level okay so this zone over here now we are coming to the uh, the demand level so we're expecting it to to have a bounce okay at least a bounce whether it comes up here and then you know it comes down or not or it just bounces off we have to see okay but bear in mind that uh, we are still in uptrend so if you see uh, as obvious as it get this is a high this is a low okay this is a higher high so we are still in uptrend so um we're definitely looking more for do dollar to strengthen because this DXY, which represents a dollar, US dollar. So we're probably expecting dollar to strengthen, okay? To strengthen in the short term, okay? So um, now let's go to the next currency that we want to talk about today will be uh, Euro dollar, okay? So Euro dollar, um, okay? This was the support that was uh, broken and uh, now it kind of violated, go up higher. Now price is still below that and you kind of see that this is a very big, uh, you know, a very big engulfing candle, okay, right, it closed near the top or so. So that means that this level here is, you know, very strong, right, but now we're having some form of a bearishness, okay, at this uh, resistance level, okay. However, um, we're still in a downtrend, so we want to sell, okay, but we also want to be beware, be careful of this entire zone here. Okay, let me just maybe switch to H4. Okay, so we, you know, we still want to sell, and uh, here we kind of see a bit of a, a head and shoulder. Okay, not too sure you can see it. Let me just, um, okay, this is the left shoulder, right? This is the head, and uh, this is the right shoulder. Okay, can okay. just a moment. Okay. So we are expecting price to come down, okay? But this, as, as I said, this, this movement here is very strong. Okay, let me just highlight here. This upward movement is very strong. 
So we want to be more careful a bit. Uh, if we're going to short, we are probably going to take our profits quicker. Right? We're not going to expect like price to trend on the way down here. Yeah, of course, price might do that. But uh, we are more, um, if we're going to take any short, we'll want to take profit at the uh, recent low. Okay. Another thing to take note is that um, this, this counter trend move up, right? It's quite bullish, you see. This is like a impulsive wave and this is like corrective. So if you study Elliott wave, you know that um, you know that uh, price moves with impulses and corrective waves. So normally if you have impulse study and this is corrective in nature, right, then the next move will probably be another impulse up. Okay. But uh, now at this moment it's not very clear. Okay, if we see a very nice break of this level, it might take a shot. Uh, but we also take note that um, this is a bullish impulsive move and this is correction. Okay, so we also might still see uh, a movement up here to here. Okay, so uh, Euro at this time is not too clear. Um, so we don't want to give any clear, you know, like uh, clear instructions on how to trade it or stuff like that. But just know that uh, next week is going to be pretty difficult. So you want to be very selective in the trades that you take. So on like pairs such as this, uh, you're not too sure what to do or you know like price is neither here nor there, then uh, it's better to stay out of it. Okay. Okay, next currency, everyone's favorite pair. Okay, we talked about this last week too, about it doing a fake out. Let me just clear everything first. Fake out. So true enough, it fake out and then it starts selling down. So in a sense, uh, goal, it's kind of like a DXY in the sense that uh, we are seeing that this is a very good um, demand zone here, okay, right, because of the uh, big engulfing candle of this zone. So price is now currently at, uh, you know, the demand. And if you draw a trend line, if you connect the recent low, you can see that uh, price is just nice sitting on uh, the, tre the trend line, okay. One more important thing to note is also that uh, this was a swing low, okay. So as we always say, right, price has to go has to take out the stop losses so there are a lot of people who bought here right and they put their stop losses here right below the swing low right pretty textbooks example okay but you are smarter than that correct because you watch our videos you know that you shouldn't be putting stop losses you know on like swing low swing highs because um they have they have very high probability of being stopped out okay so there's a lot of stop losses here so now that price has you know did a stop hunt then where is price likely to go Right after the shakeout comes the real move, so we're expecting price to uh, go higher. Okay, so for gold it's clearer. Okay, uh, we kind of want to buy, but now the candle is still bearish. Maybe wait for a bullish uh, daily candle. Okay, before um buying it, and of course our first level of uh, take profit would probably be the recent high. Okay, one five five two point two nine. Of course, this is for swing trading. If you're going to you know, trade like H4, H1, then um, of course you might manage it differently. But um, at this moment, okay, uh, if you are doing a swing trade, you are looking to buy somewhere at this zone and uh, you know, just take profit at the top of the range. Okay, some more our analysis for the uh, Forex calendar shows that, um, that uh, you know it's going to be difficult to trade. It's going to be a range by week, so it's better to uh, take um, buy low, sell high rather than to buy low and uh, hold it. Okay. Okay, so see how we always uh, relate back our analysis to the Forex calendar, right? The, what the Forex calendar tell us. So the Forex calendar is very, very, very crucial. Okay, if you have not grabbed our book about um, how to use a Forex calendar to create market movements, just like we just did, right? Please go grab the book, okay? It's only like, um, you know, it doesn't cost you much money, $14 or something, and you know, you can read it in like, in like 30 minutes, okay? So please go, um, go, go get a book if you have not, okay? So that's it for gold. Okay, next currency we want to talk about is a pound dollar. Okay, pound dollar is a bit more tricky. Okay, I mean if you look, um, this was the recent high. So what do we always say? Um, price must always whip out the stop losses. So you see the wicks here and here has actually whipped out all the stop losses. Okay, but uh, you look at this departure, this one candle, two candle, three candles is very bullish. Okay. So it's kind of like, you know, yes, uh, we expect that uh, after the stop losses, I wipe out price will retrace down. But if you look at the impulsiveness of this move, right? Okay, you look at this. This entire move up, it's very bullish. 
you compare this right with uh, this this movement here okay it took so much more candles and more you know like like rally retrace rally retrace rally retrace rally retrace right this one is just like a one direction okay so for pound dollar will be more bullish right just that uh we probably one price to uh, retrace a bit lower okay so maybe let me just give you some levels let me see if i can get you some levels okay so let's change the line chart okay so price of course uh if you look at the recent high uh there's one level over here so price if you look at it, this point of view then price is covering as support right now okay coupled with the fact that you know um this is a a, a nice rally right we could look for buying opportunities around 1.1 sorry 1.2288 level okay and of course the market structure wise we are also pretty bullish um because you see this was the uh high low lower high lower low okay it, it, it close above this okay if you look at the micro structure okay you will see that this is a high this is a low this is a higher high higher low higher high right so we are kind of like an uptrend okay so bullish bias on this okay where does price or rather where can price go to okay probably the next level which is somewhere around here okay you're not sure you want an exact level change to the line chart okay draw a line here okay this zone or as well as uh this zone here okay then you switch back to the uh candlestick chart okay so this is the two levels that probably looking at if you are buying right uh, of course this is again for swing trades Sometimes you might take shorter term trades, but uh, if you're looking at a uh, long term levels, uh, not really long term levels, but like in like you know for the week, right? Because we're doing doing this weekly analysis video, uh, you're looking at the uh, the levels for the week. Then uh, these are probably some levels you want to be looking at. Okay. Okay. Next currency will be a uh, dollar yen. Okay. Let me just clear everything. And uh, this is daily. Okay. So dollar yen is a. Uh, I think it's quite clear. Okay, let me just uh, draw. Okay, you can see that uh, there's actually kind of like invert inverted head and shoulders. Not too sure. Left shoulder, head, and right shoulder. Neckline is broken as well. Okay, price is so uh, close above uh, all these highs. But the problem is that price isn't close above this high and this high. So we want to be a bit more cautious. Okay, let me just uh, draw. Okay, all these highs, right? Are close above however price isn't close above this high as well as this high okay so i mean kind of next week is going to be a tough week so we expect price to be trapped within this uh, three zones okay if we want to buy ideally we want to see a bullish close above 107.097 okay uh, and if we want a sell it probably you want a, a, a daily close below uh, this candle low, which is 106.62, okay? A close below this uh, will open up uh, more weakness to the pair. But right now, we are seeing that uh, price will probably consolidate, consolidate between um, this entire zone, okay? But we are more poised towards um, buying, okay? Buying to the next level, which is uh, probably the recent higher, okay? Let me see if I can uh, get you any more... Uh, levels through the h4 just a moment okay uh h4 wise um nothing too fancy nothing but uh, then again you see that this uh you know um this is very bullish impulsive and uh, this is kind of corrective okay so uh we still prefer to be buying right follow the trend follow the structure okay if you are doing counter uh selling then you are actually trading counter trend okay so uh, this one you can buy, but uh, only if the condition is met. Okay, the condition that one zero seven point zero nine seven is broken on the daily, meaning that a day candle actually close above the level. Okay, okay. Next currency would be uh, kiwi dollar. Okay, kiwi is uh, one of the strongest pairs. Okay, um, this kind of movement movement down, it's a kind of like, uh, it's very weak movement down. Okay, when you see candles like that, like compression and it goes nowhere, up, down, down. Um, when price tend to, you know, retrace back, it tends to just wipe, like, it just tends to just like uh, smash through this entire thing and just start rallying. Okay, uh, 
So if you can um, next time like look through other examples, you see that whenever praise is you know it's very undecisive and you know it tra trails downwards like that, right? Whenever there's a retracement up, uh, it tend to it, uh, the retracement tend to be very uh, fast and steep. Okay. So with that being said, uh, we expect um Kiwi dollar to uh, retrace higher. Okay. Probably towards the recent uh, low here. Okay, let me just switch to the line chart. Okay, uh, just try to perfect my line. Okay, maybe something like that. Okay, so we we'll probably see uh, more upside. Okay, for this pair. Let me see if I can get you a level. Okay, so currently, uh, levels to buy would probably be uh, this one here. Okay, you see one touch, two touch, and uh, we tested here. Okay, and also probably this level. Let me just show it this level here. Okay. Uh, one touch here, you know, retrace, retrace, right? Broken, retrace as resistance. And then, uh, you know, test as resistance again, you know, bounce off. So we're probably looking at uh, this level to buy. Okay. If you want to know how we draw these levels, uh, just enroll for our course. We teach you um, using a four step process to how to draw, you know, support and resistance line. Okay. Okay, so um, we're probably seeing more upside towards this, uh, towards uh, 0 0.61905. Okay, this one is very straightforward. But of course, we want to get in at a good level, if possible. Okay. Because uh, when price comes to this level, you must watch your reaction. Uh, don't just buy off this level because you say it. Okay. I mean, as a general rule of thumb, always do your own analysis, right? Try to come up with your own ideas then, uh, rather than just follow us strictly. I mean, if, uh, if you're not following our signals and you want to execute your own trade, Right, um, come my own ideas because that will give you a conviction or rather the belief to hold true, uh, to stick to your trade when uh, you know your trade is in a drawdown, okay. But uh, this is a disclaimer if you're using our signals, make sure you follow it as it is, okay. But if you're doing your own trading, which I know that most of you guys are doing your own trading, coming out of your own like analysis, then uh, just take our analysis with a pinch of salt, put down the levels just uh, to take note, okay. So I think uh last currency you want to talk about uh is getting late, so it's pretty pretty tired. But um this last currency you want to talk about would probably be uh, uh Aussie dollar. Okay, so Aussie dollar uh it's quite clear, so it's pretty bullish. Okay, uh this is a low, this is a equal low, right? So this is your double bottom. Okay, no matter how you draw the line, be it this way, this way, or however you draw it. The conclusion is still the same, right? The conclusion is that uh, there's a reversal, okay? The only problem right now is that uh, if you look left, correct, you see that there's market structure here and there's market structure here, right? And guess where price is at now, okay? Price is at the market structure or resistance, okay? So we want to get in a good level, okay, which probably be about us. Uh, 68.68 okay round number okay plus minus we want to be buying off of this uh levels because it's used to be resistance so we expect that uh when price retraces to this level here uh we should be buying it up okay if it retraces here it may not retrace it might just go like that straight but if it retraces uh then we'll be looking for opportunities to buy off this level for further move up okay Yep, so I think that's about it. Okay, I think we didn't really record every single uh, pair okay, because it's getting late and uh, quite tired. But uh, I mean, if you have a question, okay, you, uh, you have a currency that you want us to analyze for you, um, just comment down below, okay? Um, and you know, we can always just record a video tomorrow, right, when uh, the markets are open, right? Uh, and for now, yeah, I think that's it. So if you are not subscribed to our videos, uh, to our channel rather, please do because uh, we create videos like that to help you, okay? We're committed to helping you become a better trader, okay? But uh, you won't get there if we do not put in effort, okay? So our videos uh, is free, okay? We just record it just for you to learn, to show you how we think, okay? We're we coming out with more educational series, such as talking about how to identify trend, you know, how to use indicators, as well as how to draw like um, supply and demand zones, right? Like earlier, we talked about it. That's a video that we're going to record just for you. So uh, just let us know what you think, okay? Let us know how we can help you, okay? Because we lost a lot of money before and uh, we don't want that to happen to you, okay? So let us know and till then, we'll see you in the next video.